For the next 56 days, 230 nuclear safety experts provided round-the-clock support to Japan and the public as the accident and its response unfolded. We learned so much not just what the details of the accident were, but also the importance of sharing information internationally that countries could use for their own assessment and protection of their public. The accident received a level seven on the International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale. More than 100,000 people were evacuated, causing immense human suffering. Seven months later, 151 countries endorsed a new IAEA action plan to minimize the risk of accidents like this in the future. The plan outlines actions to strengthen safety in key areas such as ongoing safety assessments, sending IAEA experts to countries to help identify and address any potential vulnerabilities in their power plants using the lessons learned from the Fukushima accident. Emergency Response Empowering the IAEA's Incident and Emergency Center to independently assess ongoing emergencies and improving communications and transparency in national responses. Refining the regulatory framework Making sure the IAEA safety standards and international laws are up to date and national regulators are independent and well resourced. Newcomer countries, helping guide countries that want to start their own nuclear power programs. Research and development, exploring new possibilities to improve safety through technology and engineering. These actions led to a series of significant safety improvements globally. Over the past 10 years, we as an international community have proven how much we can achieve when we act together, when we work together. But we cannot rest on our laurels. We will continue, especially now that we know that nuclear energy is and will be playing a key role in bringing us to a decarbonized economy. And nuclear safety will always come first.